a cat purring. What a wonderful experience. There's nothing better than sitting on the couch with a cat purring on your lap. How does it work? What does it mean? Does it always mean that the cat is happy? Also, what do scientists know about cat vocalizations and specifically the purring sound? Let's dive straight into it. When a cat is purring, the muscles in the larynx move, they dilate and they constrict the glottis, which is the part of the larynx that surrounds the vocal cords. This makes the air vibrate as the cat breathes in and out, and the result is the purring sound. The purr usually represents contentment for cats, but sometimes it can be expressed in nervous situations or if the cat is afraid or stressed. It's possible that purring has communication, appeasement, and even healing properties. Cats begin purring when they are just a few days old, which helps their mothers locate them for feeding time. This will continue for some adult cats who will purr as they feed, or will try to convince a human that it is feeding time. Some cats purr when investigating something new or after stressful episodes such as being chased by another animal. Speaking of the possible healing properties, we still need more information, but it is possible that the vibrations from purring are physically rejuvenating, a way for the cat to heal itself after stress. Another possible explanation is that it is a low energy option to maintain bones and tissues in really good condition while the cat rests. As for the humans, cat ownership might have a correlation with lower chances of suffering from heart disease or stroke. I would also imagine that there would be some really tangible mental health benefits. The purring sound calms us and pleases us. And for that reason, here's a little bit more. Most cat vocalizations are produced when the cat is exhaling. That is the case with meowing, for example. Purring, however, is quite unique because it is produced both during inhaling and exhaling. Apart from the domestic cat, studies suggest that other species are also capable of purring. That's the case with the bobcat, the cheetah, the Eurasian lynx, the puma, and the wildcat. Some big cats exhibit a purr-like sound, but this does not seem to be true purring. A recent article in the Journal of Veterinary Science reveals that the vocal repertoire of the cat is varied and up to 21 different vocalizations have been described. The authors also say that different environments result in different types of vocalizations. For example, pet cats vocalize differently to feral cats. Pet cats are able to create efficient communication with humans due to the flexibility of vocalization behaviors. A 2002 paper entitled Purring and Similar Vocalizations in Mammals is a great overview of purring and purring-like sounds in a variety of mammals. The author reveals that given that the purr is found across several species, its characteristics, such as low amplitude, low pitch, and pulsed character, are likely to be adaptive, meaning that these characteristics are likely to bring success to the individual in its natural environment. One of the most interesting papers I was able to find on this topic was this one from 1991 entitled How Cats Purr. In it, the authors measured the sound of cats purring in pumas, cheetahs, and the domestic cat. And according to this paper, the sound and vibration of purring is driven by the periodic laryngeal modulation of respiratory flow. The authors say that during purring, the inspiration phase has a lower fundamental frequency, a greater amplitude, and a greater harmonic content than the expiration phase.
An acoustic analysis of the purring in cheetah and the domestic cat revealed that in the cheetah the duration of the purring is significantly longer than in the domestic cat. The number of cycles per phase is also longer in the cheetah, but the cat purrs with a higher frequency than the cheetah. Let's compare the sound of a cat and a cheetah purring. Note that I have amplified the sounds a little bit so that we can detect the differences more easily. But do all domestic cats purr exactly the same way? No, not at all. This other study showed differences between different domestic cats. And in this specific one, Rocky was the champion. He had a longer duration in his purring and he also had the highest frequency. In a 2009 paper published in the journal Current Biology, Karen McComb and colleagues found that domestic cats make subtle use of purring to solicit food from their human hosts, exploiting sensory biases that humans have for providing care. As you can see here, a solicitation purr has a considerably higher frequency than a non-solicitation purr. This high frequency component within the purr could serve as a subtle means of exploitation, tapping into an inherent mammalian sensitivity to such cries. In a 2014 conference proceedings, the authors presented a small study in which humans were asked to guess if a certain vocalization had been produced during feeding time or waiting at the vet clinic. Cats use different intonation patterns in their vocal interaction with humans, and the humans were able to identify these vocalizations. Humans were more accurate with food-related vocalizations. Another pilot study conducted at the same university revealed that the thrill vocalization used for friendly greetings was often misjudged as anger by humans. So my take-home message here is that humans are partially accurate at figuring out cat vocalizations. I am lucky enough to live with two amazing cats, Ned and Poppy. Ned tends to prefer to be on his own, and I rarely hear him purr. Poppy is the total opposite. Always on my lap, purring away. A total purring machine. What about your cats? Are they a bit more like Ned? Or perhaps a little bit more like Poppy? Let me know in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this Train Me Please video. If you did, hit the like button, share the video with your friends, and consider subscribing to this YouTube channel to get more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.